With her jelly bracelets, graffiti coat, and totally rad robot, no one symbolized the 1990s in Canada like Robin Sparkles. But as we'd all learn one heartbreaking Grey Cup Sunday, Canada's sweetheart had a dark side. I'll never forget that moment. A little piece of Canada died that day. To see her throw her life away like that, it was heartbreaking. I am so and sandcastles in the sand both went maple, with Maul eventually going double maple. I've never admitted this till now, but before big game, I'd listen to St. Castles in the Sand and get a good cry on. I'm not ashamed. But after endless touring, Robin started to crack. Who doesn't love the mall? <laughs> Shopping with your friends and... <sighs> I can't do this. <sighs> it's out of my face, please. Thank you. Pardon me. Record producer, Chuck Chuck Jerusi. Robin Sparkles was big. Gino Vanelli big. Who I discovered, by the way. Robin's next song, P.S. I Love You, was so dark, Dominant Records refused to release it. Few have ever seen the long-lost music video, but we found it. Well, you're beautiful on your pedestal. I see you, you. Am I just too young? Or just too dumb, or maybe just too grungy. We're in my saddle and I'm picking up you. I just have my boots and I'm picking up you. I write letters and. Yes, I love you. In 1996, we booked the halftime show for the Grey Cup. Huge gig. We're talking Iverwind Stadium in Hamilton, just outside of Guelph. Doesn't get any bigger than that. Hello, Canada! <laughs> Actually, I was Robin Sparkles. The whole stadium went silent. Right then I knew something terrible was gonna happen. My stomach started churning. But Robin Sparkles is dead. All I could hear was Paul Schaefer's stomach growling. Stress goes to my stomach, sue me. It was kind of disgusting. I'm sorry, Jason Priestley. I didn't realize you were the Queen of England. My new name is... Robin Daggers, two, three, four! No, you're beautiful on your... That day is now known in music history as the day grunge was born. That day is now known in music history as the day that grunge was born. It was tragic. I mean, to this day, you ask any Canadian where they were when Robin Sparkles lost it. Not only can they tell you which Tim Hortons they were in, but what donut they were eating. Me? Wawa, Ontario. Blueberry fritter. Halifax, Nova Scotia. Walnut crunch. Victoriaville, Quebec. Sour cream plain. Sudbury, Ontario. Honey dip. Red Deer, Alberta. Chocolate glaze. Squamish, British Columbia. Crammed a timbit into a strawberry vanilla and invented the Priestly. Should have been the best day of my life. It was horrifying on so many levels. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry, I can't. I just can't talk about this. I'm out of here, okay? I'm out of here. Here, excuse me. I'm sorry, will you take... No, no, don't move. I'm out. Sorry, sorry. Speculation began immediately. Who was Robin Sparkles singing about with those angry, obsessive lyrics? It wasn't me. 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 Why does everyone always think it's me? I wish it was me. 